friends, how you doing? This is Thomas of Light Metaphors. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't, hit that subscribe button. Subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. And um, if you've been blessed, you know, just continue to uh, keep tuned in. Um, and, uh, and, you know, turn on that notification bell and, and continue to grow with me in your understanding. Um, you know, I, I've got things packed up inside of me that, you know, it's the time that God's just really unleashing or just uncapping things. And <clears throat> uh, I just wanted to share another dream uh, that I had. Uh, and uh, I shared a message recently um, regarding uh, um, being chased in a dream and fear, the enemy trying to generate fear and chasing me in a dream and um, uh, trying to cause me to fear being f afraid of, uh, uh, of diabetes, having diabetes and stuff, and how God really delivered that, me from that spirit of fear through a dream and generating the enemy, or, or how the enemy is trying to generate fear within me, um, which turned out to be, you know, the enemy just pr trying to uh, just cause fear and bring a lie. And it was broken off in that dream where I was being chased and, and uh, how I turned around and literally as I was being chased in fear, something rose up within me and caused me to turn around, face the fear and knock the person out, cold out. And then I woke up and that was the Lord showing me, you know, I've given you authority over this. You can overcome it in the spirit. See, when you overcome things in the spirit realm, you change things in the spirit. When you change things in the spirit, you'll see the effects on earth because the dream is in the realm of the spirit. And when we act, when we operate in that realm of the spirit and change things, there's a fruit on this earth. You know, everything that we see in this world, uh, our physical senses sees, was first created out of the spirit realm, out of the voice of God. When God spoke things into existence, he spoke them first in the spirit and, and created them by his spirit. And uh, so when we dream, that's in the spirit. And so if things are going on in the spirit that God's shown you, perhaps he's shown you, given you a peek into the, the plans of the enemy, what the enemy wants to do. And as I was trained by one of my mentors uh, in the past, Dr Doug Addison, um, we were trained to flip it, to flip the dream. If, if we see something negative in the dream, we'll wake up, flip it right away. In other words, decree the word of God, the truth uh, regarding the reality, not the, what the enemy is trying to speak into you or prophesy, if you will, into you. And that's how we flip a dream. We just flip it, speak the opposite. And because there is that true realm of warfare in the realm of dreams and we want to be able to alter dreams. So when you can begin to alter those things in the spirit, you'll see the effects on the earth. They won't come to pass. You know, I wake up and I've rebuked things and rejected things. And I've declared the opposite because I understand the reality of the operation of the spirit, what goes on, the, what can happen in, in the spirit realm in regards to voices and pictures and things coming, you know, <clears throat> and, and the on. On the opposite end, when I see what God shows me and tells me, guess what I do? I wake up and I say, be it done unto me, your servant, Lord, as you have spoken, just like Mary did. And then I treasure those things in my heart and I ponder those. Then I ponder those things and I treasure them up in my heart. And when I treasure them up in my heart, guess what I'm doing? I'm meditating. I'm, I'm, I'm causing that to sink into the treasure chest of my heart to be part of my being. And you know what? I'm literally like eating a scroll from heaven. That dream was like a word, a scroll from heaven. I'm chewing on it, ingesting it. And guess what? You will become what you behold. You, the message you partake of and God feeds you to eat, you will become that message. I'm telling you, do that and you'll see the fruit of it. Take what the Lord said uh, to you and treasure it, meditate on it, and speak it to yourself. Come into agreement with it. You know, humility is basically agreeing with God. You know, if God shows you this about yourself, something about yourself in a dream, wake up and thank him and agree with him because that's humility, friends. And so as you do these things and you decree these things out, you will see those things come to pass and manifest in your life. You'll walk out that revelation. You'll walk out that message. You'll become the word made flesh. The word in the spirit spoken to you will become flesh. You'll become what your father conceived in his mind's eye and his heart of you being and, and doing on earth. And then so you, you begin to see yourself doing something. You, you may have a dream where you're prophesying to people, laying hands on people, uh, um, healing people, preaching the gospel in foreign countries, 
flying or whatever in this uh, and these are things god imagined visioned envisioned of you to be to do with you and through you and so i just want to encourage you in that realm uh the positive realm you know take hold of the, of the dreams that god gives you and do those things and you'll see the fruit of them um, and so i want to share another dream that's kind of similar in uh, relation to the f dream I shared in my m most recent um, upload with, uh, with being chased. Now, this dream was interesting because um, it was also something con trying to confront me. So in this dream, I find myself, or I found myself another short dream uh, at the White House. And this was during the Clinton presidency. And I was sitting there, standing there outside the White House, and all of a sudden I saw Bill Clinton come out. And he was standing there, and all of a sudden, this woman was looking at him, and and then uh, she started like uh, basically look. She was looking pretty weird, like uh, but I, I could see her strange looking. But she actually ran after Bill Clinton, and uh, she really attacked him. And then all of a sudden, uh, she turned around and looked at me all crazy, and she chased after me to attack me. But in the dream, I turned around. I, I or I in the dream, I, I as she chased after me came in front of me I actually knocked her out just like I knocked out the other person now and and like I shared in my last dream I in the natural I never not I don't knock out a woman would not want to that's far from it I don't want to but uh, in the realm of dreams this the things things that happen in the dreams in the realm of dreams are far out you know they're just uh, illogical uh, you know so I knocked that woman out and so when I woke up in the dream I was like wow that was a pretty wild dream man I never seen Bill Clinton in my dream that's the president of the United States back then when uh, he was and I was like man what did that and I and I knew I kind of had a knowing already because of a uh, practice and, and listening to the Lord's voice and so I realized and understood that God was showing me that that there was this high level because um, Bill Clinton represented high level of authority he was a president that's the highest level you can be in in america an authority and so but this woman was there and this high level uh woman or in the dream she represented a spirit was attacking him and uh so this spirit was attacking him but then it turned it was going to go after him but then it actually i don't remember it even attacking him but it went after him but then it turned and at me and it came at me, and that's when I knocked it out. So it was showing me, the Lord was showing me that this, I was, I was gonna come under this uh, level, this high level attack, and it could have been of a certain demonic uh, power and authority that was on a higher level, being that it was there uh, assaulting a president. It was also coming at me, and it was, uh, and as it came at me, I knocked it out. So God showed me in the dream, as I knocked it out, that I had authority over this thing, and I put it out. I, I, I uh, did not allow it. it what did not was not able to attack me. And then, in the in part of the dream that's coming back to my memory is after that happened, I went into the White House. So that was the dream, and so it was an interesting dream because God was showing me that I went into the after uh, this uh, that I would come under this assault on a higher level by a high level spirit that I would be able to have authority over it, and then I'd come into the Father's house, the White House of the Father, the house of the Lord, and, and, and stay in that place of protection. So yeah, this is another short dream I'd wanted to share with you guys, just to give you a little demonstration and, and, uh, of uh, you know, how God will speak to us uh, regarding certain uh, issues, and that particularly is uh, regarding sh spiritual warfare and things coming against me, and, and how he used the symbols, the metaphors, you know, of the president and being a authority, high authority, and the woman uh, there coming at him uh, because, you know, president can get attacked by someone in a lower level, you know. This is someone that was right at the White House, so it was a high level thing. And so, uh, you know, how God will use those type of symbols to tell you, uh, metaphors and, and symbols to show you. Um, what's going on in your life and so you know these are the ways of God you know this is the communication of God and so I just wanted to share that little uh, dream and uh, pray you would gain some understanding and insight to that and um, in your uh, dream on language and your <coughs> dream personal dream language and, and dictionary of understanding and uh, how the enemy uh, how the Lord shows us how the enemy tries to attack us and, um, and, and, but shows us that we have the victory. He gives us the victory.
so yeah thanks a lot i just also i'm i'm, uh, I'm remembering right now one of the things that uh, i was we were encouraged to do in training is that we should pray that the lord would show us what the enemy is doing reveal his uh, plans because he works in subtleness he works in hiddenness he works in shroudness in, in like a shrouded place he high he works in the in the dark undercover he wants to sneak in and, and do his stuff but when we pray that god would show us what the enemy is doing reveal what he's doing uh we get a upper hand we understand because also when you begin to get insight or you begin to see what the enemy is doing or uh, you have authority then as God shows you something that the enemy's trying to do, that means also with the showing, he gives you the uh, corresponding authority to take, take, to exercise in the midst of it. And he wants us to exercise that authority and take control and uh, break that power to reverse any outcome, you know, to destroy and annihilate and bring to extinction uh, any potential of darkness that would try and uh, uh, crop its head up in, in our lives and, um, so yeah, this is, this is uh, again, the ways of God. And um, God wants to speak, us, uh, speak to us all and give us a, a, you know, a upper hand on things. And you know, he wants to reveal these things. You know, the prophets in the, in the Old Testament, they would, uh, God would take them into king's palaces and he'd take them into places and, and, um, and he'd show them what the enemy was devising together so that he can uh, uh, attack the people of Israel and the, the, the authorities that God established. But the kings, the prophets would be able to see things. They would hear things and they'd go into places where the enemy was uh, devising things and, and conspiring. And then they'd see that and then they'd go, in, uh, they'd go to the kings and, and convey, don't do this, this is what the so-and-so is doing. I, uh, the Lord has shown me, this is, this is what the Lord has shown you. Do, don't do this, don't do that do this and so they got the upper hand against the enemy so my prayer is that God will give you the upper hand against what the enemy would try to do in your life and you just beat him like Kim Clement used to say kick devil butt generation God bless you thanks for checking out light metaphors <laughs>